Uh, all right, it's been a long, long time. It's been over a month, I think, since I last uh, recorded videos for this. I'm sorry, <laughs> I have no excuse, just that you should have seen it coming. <laughs> you know, the massive delays on playthroughs or abandonment of playthroughs is a hallmark of the Keats to YouTube channel, but we're gonna get back at it and hopefully we're gonna be able to finish this game. Um, what were we doing? What were we doing last time? We were talking to that rich lady on the boat. Was that really it? Oh, and I made all my money! Okay, so we got a few options now. Bookstore, booze store, throw the money on the street and just see what happens. <laughs> we got options, we got options. Okay, so we've talked to you quite exhaustively. That's what good. Uh, that's all for now. Kim. We don't really need to do that. <laughs> uh, let's check our little diary. Oh my god, I got so much shit to do. Uh, karaoke. Oh, that's going to be tough. We can go back and check this out. Maybe that's an easy thing to do, because <laughs> this I have no idea. Kuno, we didn't get anywhere with last time we talked to him, but maybe we can try that again. This, I feel like, is a, a sort of Beckett-esque futility that this corpse will always be hanging from this tree no matter what I try. Uh, this is new. This is something that we've recently been tasked with. Uh, we're gonna go interrogate the people about the drug trade. This is, uh, tough. We gotta find a ball. Uh, we could, oh, we could, ooh. Could pay this guy back. I don't remember how much it was. I feel like we maybe still can't even afford it. It was like 500 or something crazy. No idea. Huh. Yeah, well, we're on route to do the favor. This... Uh, I... Uh, and yeah, this door. We gotta break down this door, which might just involve getting strong. Okay, that's our list. Karaoke top priority. We finally got smokes. Do we have another smoke? No, we'll die. Oh, we do have a charge for our, our health, though, so we could have ourselves another cigarette. Goodness me. Okay. Uh, and actually, my real goal was just exploring around the town, I think. Wait, what's this? Let's see. Uh, my real goal was, I think, just to see everything there was to see. In case, you know... Oh, this is the apartment complex. Yeah, we were here before. Give me a moment. Yeah... I don't think there is much to do. It's not quite time to go see if we can find that guy again. Uh, I'm confused. I, this isn't where I thought the apartment lobby was. This is the anarchist uh, well, painter girl. Have you come to admire my mural? I know that it's the cleaner, but I'm going to ask this anyways. Not only have you found my address, <laughs> you've discovered my biggest secret. Does anyone... In a city like this. Damn. Real. If there's pain about any particular home she's lost, she's buried it deep. Fortified herself against it. It doesn't have to do anything at all. Hmm. Like me, yes. I keep hoping the shaft will collapse. Shoot, piggy. It's what you do. Alright. Not going anywhere there. I thought this apartment building... Okay, so... Uh, over here is the whirling in rags. And you can get into this apartment building from, like, both sides, I guess. Okay. So is there anywhere else to see in town? I don't know. Do we go down here? Yeah, here's the bookstore. Okay. Maybe we can go further south. If I can't go further south, I'm going to go back to the lorries. Oh man, it feels kind of pathetic taking these 10 cent bottles and I'm so flush with cash. Where are you? Can we talk to you? Hmm, maybe this guy just showed up recently. Fish! Catch fish, catch fish. Oh. There are, up there is the, uh, ball players.
so we already went down through here. Down through here is where... Oh, no, no, have we gone down through here? Oh, it's like I'm the amnesiac cop now. <laughs> Just because I took a break for a month. <laughs> no, we didn't go down here. What's down here? Okay, this is more of the lorry jam, I guess. Oh, I have a thought. I have a thought. Hmm. Ooh, ooh. A thing. I gotta use detective mode more. Oh, and uh, everything turned off for a second. And we're fine. And we're not fine. And we're fine again. <laughs> uh, all right, nice. That's another cigarette. Woo, a pawn shop. That's got potential. Got more bottle. Got gloves. That's very, very helpful. So right now my glove slot is empty, so there's no downside in equipping this besides the fact that I'm going to look like a psychopath. Alrighty. Definitely makes me want to get my drugs on. I could just max out electrochemistry and just start hearing the voice of every intoxicating substance that might even partially exist in this harsh and cruel world. Let's go back and talk to this guy first and then we'll go to the pawn shop. Water lock out of... Oh, oh, locks like... Uh, you know how these work? It's so cool. The ship comes in. It's sitting in here. Wall, wall. This wall just showed up. Psh, water flooding in. Oh, the ship is rising. And now... This wall goes down and it can connect to higher water. I think that was <laughs> maybe one of the worst explanations I could have given. Butter sign down! Uh... Ooh, what's... What's going on over here? Oh. Oh, Kim was running over and I got spooked. <laughs> A couple of indicator lights are missing from this control panel. Loose wires. Mm, that's not gonna do anything. All the way. Nothing happens. Yeah, yeah, try it again. Nothing happens. A cold gun. Mm. <laughs> He's so sick of this. Oh, I see. Good, good memory. Not just perception, but memory. Uh, okay, so we could cross this again once the lock. Alright. Alright, alright. So right now it's what? It's day one. Is that Monday? I can't remember. Evening, officers. A burly man hangs out. <gasps> Salami! Aren't I hungry? I think I'm hungry. With an old hunter's knife. His posture is relaxed. Despite his powerful build and the mm. of his hand. I wasn't here to witness it, but those look like tire tracks on that side. Mm. The words Dare Devil Driver. Sound ominous to you. I'm gonna go grab Kim's car. <laughs> Salami time. Whoa! Yeah, let's go! We finally got some food! We haven't eaten shit all day! Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Couldn't get a bite of that guy's sandwich, but the salami, that, that hits. I actually really want some salami in real life now. Uh, it's supposed to be that. Mmm. Do I ever? Just drop in on Wednesday if you want to see the water lock at work. All right. Part of the map is inaccessible until the third day. All right. Well, I gathered that one of the more uh, redundant tutorials, but you know, I'll take it. Uh, this is one of the nicest, most helpful people we've met yet. I'm immediately suspicious. Well, there's the fishing village, an abandoned fish market. See. I still, yeah, something, something, oof, something ominous out there in the West. There, there was a, an Inland Empire moment where my inner psychosis told me that, like, my destiny was out in the West or something. Yeah, not really much else. Just this bizarro church. I 
think that's my destiny right there. That's where I'm going to form my new communist party. Remember, I got that going in the headspace. Yes, yes, I am the new Krasmazov. I am the new Karl Marx. It's going to take a while for us to figure this out, but... Oh, no! Okay, okay, I didn't lose my progress. <laughs> I thought that would exit the menu for some reason. Let's get some more salami. And let's get some more salami. And let's go. Okay, uh, helpful person. We got something to do in the future. And we got a new place to go in the future. Okay, so I feel like there's probably not that much more to see down here. Because, yeah, this bridge is closed. Let's go to the pawn shop. Alright. A lot to look at here. And... I thought I was just about to leave, that somehow it triggered, like, leave the pawn shop. Black simply says day. King? Queen? Royalty? God? Hmm, that's what's projecting this eerie light over here. It's in this cabinet. You see rows of toy soldiers guarding the rest of the trinkets displayed on the table. Yes. Mm. Try to find something pretty and <laughs> yeah, there's something going on in my brain. Some memory of some babe, I guess. Uh, I can only assume. I don't know. I don't know what my main man's sexuality is here. Uh, this is a pretty reasonable thing. Is there anything we can equip real fast? Equip real fast to make that better? Interfacing. 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 No, we're at max. We're maxed for interfacing. All right. Well, let's just roll the dice. It's a it's a white check. Ah. Yes. No explanation. Fair. Big men on big horses, clad in lamella armor, and Franco Nigerian knights. I used to be very serious. Ooh, have we found Kim's special interest? A long, long time ago. Hmm. They're not all blue. These figurines also wear gold coats. Hmm. Look at this memory. I'm surprised this wasn't a perception check. I didn't remember that. This is what the loyalists look like. At first. Which one? Ah. This set of soldiers isn't meant to look impressive. A few have rifles. You're probably talking about the revolution. Mm, this seems like a very disparaging depiction. Revolutionaries, I think their poverty. Yeah, I see. Effect. When you place them next to the royalists, it doesn't seem like they could possibly win. Um. This bitch made me. <laughs> uh. Seems to have his own mm. conflict played out in perpetuity by these toys. Might be interesting to find out what it is. Well, yeah, we'll give him a chat. Uh, what else to look at here? What's going on up here? The boom boxes on the shelf look well loved and well traveled. <gasps> Ooh, I can get a tape for karaoke here, perhaps. The unblinking eyes of one especially catches your eye. Mm. Gold and this is you. Golden or just make sure it works before you buy it. Mr. Harmon Walshi W2. Designed in Seoul. You know, I kind of want it. I kind of want it. 2mm, 8mm, 12mm. Absolutely. I've tested each one myself with recordings of speed. I don't really like music. Strange. Even though. Police work means playing tight. Like a beach party. With <laughs> I can't help myself. I gotta tell this to Kim. Even though his invisible respect meter, which is so low we can't even see it, is gonna go even lower. Theoretically, yes. But we don't have time right now. Generally, murder investigation first, then beach party. That is the unofficial RCM motto, yes. Alright. And here you are. 
Good investment. Good investment. I can always go beg that lady for money later. Okay, sweet. Is there anything else here we want? Okay. Let's get partying. Put this in my other hand. Ha! <laughs> oh, maybe not. Maybe not. We don't have any tapes to play anyways. Eventually, though, we're going to get some tapes. Um, maybe now we're going to get some tapes. Maybe this place sells some tapes, too. What's going on over here? Okay. Uh, what are you? Typical Martinez street light sits among assorted floor and table lamps. The light pole has been carefully cut mm. and the wiring has been redone and attached to a standard. Yes, officer. As you see, it's in perfect working order. It was brought to me to be altered. We are not here to investigate the theft of city property. You have to admit it's rather clever what he's done with it. It is, really. To, to have a street light plugged into just a normal outlet. It's quite the feat of engineering. Whoops. I wanted to ask how it was. 700 real. A bargain, I A bargain? No, it's not. He's trying to sweet talk you into buying trash. And eh, nah, I'm, I'm accommodating. So we can't really buy it. I don't know what the hell we'd ever do with it. I don't even know if we can just carry it out. Uh, I don't know how we're supposed to get that much money outside of begging and more begging. All right, what do you got for sale? What else you got? It's not often that I see officers. What can I do for you? His courtesy is not insincere, but mm. he prefers being alone with his projector. Just watching them. Oh, no, not at all. Who are your customers? You... All kinds of people come mm. through here. People Some who are terminally travel. bored. As you can see, I have a wide selection of goods for everyone to choose from. It keeps me entertained. Entertained? <laughs> he might be high. If he is, on what? <sighs> Let's investigate. We got our gloves on. Let's find out. Feeling warm and enthralled by the movement of light while the mind continues to race forward. Hmm. A drug developed by the military to treat and prevent radiation. Hmm. It has psychedelic side effects. Ooh. So we, we did a roll to get this read, so I think our read is accurate. And Kim might be impressed with the fact that we know about this, but I also don't want to come across as like I'm harassing him. At the same time, it would be cool to get some drugs. We, we haven't booted off at all today. How would I know? There's a note of indignation in his voice. Interesting. Those triangle patches... Mm. Like they're similar to the halogen rectangle on your jacket. I was. I was with the emergency relief brigade. The people's you know, pile disaster. Ah, uh, uh huh, uh huh. That's what you were hinting <laughs> <laughs> Look at this police work I've patched together. Patched indeed. Uh, yeah, I'm on a roll right now. Mm. So much disappointment. An early death. No one's. Everyone's. A sad, sad character. You know that sometimes when they have these massive radiation cleanup projects in the aftermath of like Fukushima and stuff, they send in old people. They get the oldest people to do it because they know that when a radiation sickness and cancer and other complications original uh, inevitably happen. It's like they're gonna die soon anyways. Isn't that really kind of tragic, but also sort of beautiful? That selflessness? That that feeling of it's what's right to be done? Hmm. I don't know. I, I wonder if I'll get an opportunity like that when I'm old. <laughs> when I'm old. So much Crazy. Oh, I'm talking so... Saying things like that these days is crazy. What do you think is going to happen? Well, it sounds like what this is, is a bunch of poor people building themselves a primitive nuclear reactor hoping for the best. I think that's what the people's pile is, right? Uh, but I still want to ask. Bad idea. 
What did I say that about? Starts with the tape. What tape do I have? Oh, oh, hmm. Oh, oh, hmm. Was there tapes in the game dev studio? We were missing the memory bank for the computer. But were there other, like, tapes scattered around? I don't know. Uh, that was fire away. It's almost like he's worried for you. The lieutenant steps away. Shh. I, uh, Katsuyagi, man, my boy Kim, he understands, I think. He knows that, like, maybe this is what's gonna help me. And if it's gonna, if it's gonna be what helps me with the investigation, he's actually like, alright, that's cool. Uh, what a, what a bro. What a, what a hero. What a trooper. As long as you can walk straight, I don't care. Here you go, Whoa. Yes, Doc. That's the coalition cover. Whoa! Oh, I'm gonna take it. Alright, we got drugs. Let's sell the drugs. Anything else you're thinking of selling? I I don't really need to sell any of these. We got enough money right now. Uh how about the photo? No. I don't the photo. Anti-magnetism. It's darkness. I'm not purchasing any, and especially that tide. It swallows photons around it. Whoa! So this guy's a little quirky, but all he's talking about is it's dark. The the, the photo was dark. The the tattoos in the photo were dark. Your tie is dark. It swallows photons. Just means that it's dark. It doesn't reflect photons. Um, necrotic, of course, is his own sort of poetic flavor. It's, you know, dead, dying, rotted, corpse-like. But, I don't know, he's like not quite crazy, he just is eccentric, I guess. Oh my goodness, necktie, settle down. Let's try this. Ah, uh, so we already pawned our gun! Ah, uh, stupid! <laughs> we pawned our gun! We pawned our gun. Where's the money at least? <laughs> we should have gotten some good amount of money for that. Oh boy. Ah, oh, goodness. Uh... Ooh, ah, oh boy. Who the heck could this be? It could be the the dock worker mediator lady on the boat. No, I don't know. Which she wouldn't consider herself a pig, but who else could be a, considered a pig? Weird. It could be the person who put in the call. Right, uh, so. Let me get this right. You sold your sidearm issued by the citizens' militia, and now the city. Oh, Cam, Cam, Cam! I can feel his respect like grains of sand slipping through my fingers, and the more I grasp at them, the faster I push it out of my my reach. Miraculously, this place does not reveal what's happening inside. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah. I do hope we manage to make this mess. He means your <laughs> You you were adamant about getting rid of Oh boy. And I don't like keeping guns around the shop for long. Off the charts photo Yeah, well that's I mean, you can, if someone's suffering from radiation sickness, you can understand why they have a preoccupation with stuff like this. But, what, what does this mean? He's not telling me the whole story. It seems it's true. You weren't quiet. You were very distraught. Hmm. You said the gun when I said that I don't normally buy them. Oh, boy. Oh, goodness. Oh. Oh, come on, dude! I just bought a boombox for that much. The lieutenant looks oh, oh, Kim. Oh. And I didn't wake up with a cent of that. A bad dream. Neither, neither a, a penny a cent or even a whiff of where that money had gone. No cent. This has got to be the most. Oh, goodness. Oh. This is brutal. Oh, Kim. Happens to the best of us. No apologies necessary, officer. Ah. Uh, My apologies, officer. A needle in a haystack. There is nothing. Now. Of course. Well, we found out a place we can be. We got we got some experience. We're getting to another level. Uh sure thing. Sure. All right. I I thing. She didn't drift right so miraculously. I wanna work in this a little bit. It's possible in this part of town. We ought to find her and discourage. She didn't drift me right so miraculously. His face in that case, <laughs> she'll be happy to get a visit from her. If we can find her. She didn't say drift right so miraculously. You're right that she could cast aspersions on the face. Mm. We have to find her. You, you were, and I died. He's not telling me the whole story. You were, you were fit when I... You sunk on a gun. Good. <sighs> I don't know if I should say this. Maybe I'll we'll just say this. Does. Yeah. Sure, man. I doubt it, but I can try and answer any question. I do my best to keep my distance mm. from all manner of butchery. No one likes to see what you have to see every day. Well, let's try this. The corpse behind the hostel I show. I don't pass around the harbor. Uh, yeah, yeah. Alright. Worker's gaze is already <sighs> What are we thinking? So we've been monitoring you internally. And now we know your copo type. <gasps> what kind of copo type am I? Yes. Guess what's yours? Cool cop. No, you're the sorry cop. Uh... Apocalypse, super stellar, the advanced, interesting cop, liquid shadow cop. So here we go. What? Jealous They'll be super, super fine. It'll be totally. You can dual copo type. Oh shit! All right, we can still be commie cop. We'll unlock commie cop. No, you don't. Ah, uh, we man, we do say sorry a lot. I said sorry enough that I guess we got this. All right, let's become the sorry cop. This is just role playing. <laughs> this is just that. That would be nice. Okay, we do we we don't have we gotta spend experience to do this. We could. We have to spend experience to forget one of these two. So we might as well just unlock a new one if once we get there. I mean, I don't know. Could this possibly be helpful? Here we found our house, sort of. No, just kidding, we found our old house. And this one was helpful because we got our shit together a little bit. This one's gonna be great because we'll enact communism. Alright, well... 
Nothing more to observe here. Let's head to the apartment building, because that's like actual police work. We do occasionally have actual police work to do. Um, so... I, I, well, let's, what's over here? This is blocked off by the bridge. Hmm, let's investigate this trash. Auto save, thank you, good. More trucks stuck. Let's check the trash. All right, that's money in the bank. Uh, oh man, the soundtrack is so good. Well, what's up with you, my my new friend? You're another one of the truckers, right? Oh, uh, never mind. Ooh, what can we buy? Ah, this guy's gonna be fun. This guy will sell us. I didn't even check out my drugs. All right, hold on. Let's decide first, should we do drugs? Hmm. I see, I see. Okay, it's not gonna give us any like trippy visual filter over the game or unlock a whole bunch of new dialogue options. That would be kind of crazy. Uh, is this worth doing? Up our psyche a little bit? Oh wait, no, we just die. Never mind, we just die if we do that. That's no good. Uh, I guess let's uh, let's chat with this guy first and then look at his deals. Bang 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 bang. Oh yeah. You got Do you think this could actually possibly- in what world would this work? Can we possibly up our rhetoric at all with anything? There's no way. There's no way we make this roll and there's- I couldn't understand even what would happen if we did. Oh yeah, so one of the trucks said, oh yeah, we're, we're bringing in uh, sportswear, right? Sports- that was what they claimed they were bringing in at least. So, are these people, like, look at the crates they're selling this stuff out of. Are these just despondent truckers that gave up and were like, screw it, we'll just sell this stuff here? I'm an entrepreneur, officer. I've got mm. Good joke, officer. <laughs> Good joke, officer. I love this guy. It's beautiful. Beautiful freedom. It is, yes. Huh. Wow, I'm I'm very surprised. Hmm. If you wanted to be cynical about it, you could say we are here. My man officer, you make all this possible. Without you, the Gossamer State. You're part of the Gossamer State. The Gossamer State. Uh Hmm. Yeah. Cool ruins. <laughs> I get to sell quality goods like this by cutting out the middlemen. You don't have no need for discounts and feelings, officer. Everything's already hmm. good. I wanna... It's beautiful. It is. That's right. No. Nope. If you want it. My man, officer. Uh. Make all this possible. Yeah. Rabbit shops are cooler. Doesn't hmm. If you wanted to, my man, officer, you make all this possible. Yeah. That's <laughs> about you. Uh, Freedom is great. An it officer of common anarchy. Like oh boy, I I could feel my mind, kind of like expand outwards and then start falling off a cliff. Because I was like, well, what if there was an anarchist state? Would there need to be an apparatus of power that? protects it from falling into order from the, to, to stop the establishment of a state but then wouldn't that power apparatus be somewhat equivalent to a state my my brain can immediately created that point and counterpoint 
And then those two things kind of like flung themselves off a cliff of thought. And I was like, all right, screw it. <laughs> it's not worth talking about beyond explaining why I don't want to talk about it. Hmm. I think we, we went through all of these. If you want Yeah. <laughs> I'm Serai, from the Seagai province. The apricot suzerainty is what the Seagai archipelago is commonly known as in Ravenshoi. Hmm. So no, no, apricots come from Seagai. My grandfather hmm. didn't know them, but Seagai beat me off. Why not sport an Indian? Well, if it's for his <sighs> grandma, you should buy a lot of things. Ah, man. Yeah, I learned something unfortunate. I don't even need his money. We can just buy his shit. Because we got money. We got money. These were the speakers first. No, no, don't look at the speakers, officer. Look at these, officer. These speakers are Samar and garbage. I'm ashamed. No way, officer. Do I want the sneakers? Ultras. The design is impossible and simple. A futuristic silhouette with a sleek monochrome colorway. Yeah, look at this. They know the sneaker terms. Colorway, silhouette, upper, midsole. You talk to sneaker heads, they may say some of those things. It's like the language you use to describe a, a coat of arms. That Oh, look at the azure bird resplendent on a vert field. There's shit like that. It's a language. It's a language. Ah, man. We get better reaction speed, better hand-eye coordination, but we become dumb and we forget things. All right, we'll think about it. Let's see what else they got. I still need booze money. I still need SIG's money. All right. Well, let's roll the dice. Let's try to find some good. No good. Ah, come on! With us have treated wolfhands. You can tell that you sorry. They itch. Yeah. The itch is so Ah yeah, that's no good. That's no good. A violent I don't wanna uh, They just make me wanna fight. Mm. Nah, nah. The sneakers maybe. Because getting the hand eye coordination stuff would be good. Yo. Abort. These are hideous. Damn, officer. Very <laughs> They're perfect for concealing your bloodshot of back. No. You are definitely not like those. <laughs> are you sure? But they look so good on you. Ooh, man, getting the electrochemistry buff. We can electrochemistry max so hard right now. And just, it opens up the entire dimension of drugs to us. Not just the world of drugs. Not just the universe of drugs. But the dimension of life that is called intoxication. That's such a fucking bargain. Let's go. What else we got? These are all boring. These are all first rate sunglasses. Premium design. Super material. Oof. Very cool. UV resistant. Can we, can we max conceptualization at all? Do we have anything? No, 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 but we do, man, our electrochemistry can be off the charts here. Oh, we, we can electro, we can get some, hmm. This is plus electrochemistry. This is also plus electrochemistry. This is already boof, buffing, boofing, buffing our conceptualization. We're, we're gonna be doing some boofing too. Believe you me. The boof pack will arrive. Ah, let's just fucking roll anyways. We gotta get lucky sometime, you know? Oh, that visor is perfect for you, officer. 
I hope not. You don't like it? Sure, Fredo. I think it's a you know, just to get for for different checks and stuff, we roll perception pretty often. In fact, don't we have a perception check? Or no, this is a conceptualization check, isn't it? Or is it perf you keep coming back. It's composure you check. I mean, it's only two bucks. We might as well get it. I don't think we have an inventory limit, do we? Now we have all... S oh, maybe this is our inventory. No, but there's like a scroll bar. Damn, this game is huge. How many clothes are we going to get? So, we can actually min-max quite a lot of stuff. It could be worth looking at our white checks. Those on white are available to try now. This one, unlikely. Uh, we don't... Inter no, we have perception. Okay, we have nothing that helps with any of these. Okay, but in the future, maybe we will. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, let's, okay, let's go do this. We're getting all caught up buying crap. Nothing more down here. We already went over here. Uh, okay. Well, we got some stuff that might help us with some checks in the future. Now we're back here. Oh, what's this? We never looked at this, I think. This bench. The worn and beaten wooden plane. Hmm. We can sit on benches after we've solved them. You can revisit the bench. If you ever need to pass the time when the Senen Kitsuragi is gone. I see. Okay. Uh, we look. We talked to the post box. Um, yeah, let's go to the apartment. I think that's top priority. So I thought the apartment was this away. No, this is the. This is where the harbor is. The apartment. I guess I gotta go north. Uh, ooh, garbage, garbage, garbage. Yeah. Uh, this is into the apartment, because this is the apartment building, isn't it? No, no. This is the shortcut to the cursed commercial district. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We go up through here. Oh wait, no, we're on the other side. It's over here. What the? What's this? Dude, my investigations have turned up something I never would have seen on my own. There are several footprints in the mud. Ooh. Left by workers. Anywhere from six to twelve pairs have walked. Every worker's boots with hmm. false toes and hobnails. Well, it'll put it into my database of visual checks. We don't have anything that helps visual calculus, I don't think. Uh... No, 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 no. Anything nerfing it? No, 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 no. Okay, fine. Uh, all right, let's just roll so it's in the database. There are several footprints in the mud. Damaged morale. Wow. I didn't think it could be that bad. <laughs> I thought there was no downside to doing that, but I, I really humiliated myself. Okay, we gotta get over to those friggin' apartments. I guess I gotta go all the way around, huh? I, th I swear there was another way to get in there. But maybe I'm just, uh... Kind of condensing some events in my head. That's just talking to the periscope things. This is the painted over... Oh, I guess I could have taken... No? What? Okay, this is this is the apartment building, at least. And we want to go to... Apartment 28, which was upstairs. Over here. Yeah, we came in through this door? We came in through this door. Where does that door go? Oh, I got some thoughts. Mm, the sun's going down? Yeah. Okay, well, let's do a little bit more police work, and then we'll see how the day ends. Because I know I can go to sleep, which would be probably good in the long run. This door is made of metal, and appears no one answers. 
Man. Tomorrow at 9 p.m. Ah! I'm too late. I'm too late. I'm too late. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. It says sometime after nine. It's only nine fifty-three. This dwarf is more no one. We should return to. I guess he means only tomorrow. Okay, sure. Uh, Wednesday. It's yeah. It's only Monday today. So tomorrow we have no definite plans besides until nine p.m. What should we do? What should we do? And look for, I don't think any of these we're going to pass that we haven't, that we failed before. So I guess it's back to just some good old fashioned police work. And by that I mean, go talk to the drivers. I'm not sure when I should try to go to bed. Still haven't been able to get up there. Not really sure how that'll work. Where does this door go? This takes me to where... Uh, what's her face? Punko Et or whatever. Where she's taunting us. Yeah, it takes me to back here. Can't get up there. Can't get up there. This was locked, right? Yeah. So we could harass the children again. Yeah, let's harass it. Kuno S. What did I call her? Punko Et? Alright, she's not helpful. What do we do? What do we do? I guess let's go investigate the truckers. Because in my mind right now, the, the sort of... I thought maybe I could interact that bird. The chain of causality is sort of like, we gotta... Do the favor for the boat lady. The boat lady can help us with the murder. And in terms of getting into the harbor and getting someone who will help us get the body down, I think it's a lost cause. Those guys are not playing anymore. I guess they went to bed. But I'm sure they'll be back tomorrow. What else we got? There's the racist over here. You know, uh... So let's talk to this guy. You know what we're gonna do first? We're gonna... Got some money. <laughs> Should we talk to the racist? This is like one of the few people that we haven't really talked to yet. And he's just been there the whole time. Don't you welcome to Revashovi. My grandfather came here from a three thousand year old racist isolationist culture. While your ancestors came to be that every school of thought and government has failed in the city. But I love it nonetheless. It's men like you who keep Dang. I could have bonded with Kim so much faster. I didn't know he would go off like this. I thought he would just be uncomfortable. And that I might do something stupid. Oh, come on, man. I just said, uh, welcome to Rivashol. It's a lorry driver thing. Hello, this guy's voice. I know exactly what you meant. Mm. He's been my... But you see, I'm an officer of the RCM. Silence. Your partner needs back. Yes. Now's your moment to you do make a cute couple. Hey, 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 hey. I'm not opposed to that. I ship these two. This might be my OTP. Whatever you say, officers. Oh, not much anymore. I'm here to pick up some cargo, but apples. Yeah, apples. He's given you the run. Let's be honest. You were best. Drugs? They are shit. I don't bet. <laughs> it takes a long drag on a cigarette. Uh, they think mm. our local junkies, if they know they can't beat us in a fair fight, so mm. we have to get us to weaken ourselves somehow. He buys you wearily. I don't know shit. If I did, I wouldn't tell you. What do you think? I can't leave the lawyer mm. guarded. Stuff's been getting looted. There was a bunch of spilled boxes in the back of a big lorry. Yeah, I knew that guy. He was an honest mm. guy who loved this country. <laughs> Having a debate about genetics, oh boy. Oh boy. When some kid boys smashed his lot. Since you left, I haven't had anyone to talk to. It's a fucking travesty, is what it is. It's 
ce bot Biological determinism, natural law, the sorting of the races. Not the most popular topic nowadays, with a coalition in charge, no. Change the topic. The way he says it makes it almost sound like a threat. I'm not just racist. <laughs> I've read books. Huh? The science of racial theory has all been proved. Oh, God. Ah, oh, man. I... <laughs> This is like triggering like a big can of brain worms for me. And if you... If you know about... What, what was it? HBD. Human Biodiversity. Which is basically when a, a group of self-proclaimed rationalists, i.e. people that read less wrong, were like, what if we became racist? What if we read... What's that book called by the racist? The Bell Curve. And we were like, oh, well, now that you put it that way. And and this was one of the more insufferable parts of the internet for quite a while. Maybe it's still happening and I just stopped paying attention to it. But uh, just, just this feeling of like, no, 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 I'm not a racist. I read books. <laughs> and the books made me racist. Whereas other people, they just start off racist. So I'm superior to them. <laughs> oh my god, it's the most annoying thing in the planet. common this one is interesting because um <laughs> why am i talking about this even talking about it is too validating to this absolute bullshit nonsense um but a, a common one is like okay the the black people are trying to culturally take over north america but because we're racist uh the, those people are too inferior to be doing that on their own so it's like the Jewish people are like putting them up to it or something. They're orchestrating it behind the scenes. It's all pretty standard garbage, but it's like interesting when you have kind of like a set of, of racist axioms and then you also have a set of conspiracy theories. It's like what other conspiracy theories do you have to invent to connect your, your final destination conspiracy theories with your original axioms? So it's, uh, it's like... Uh, it's sort of like an exercise in like pure logic or illogic as the case may be um, because it's not really grounded in anything. It's, it's like this sort of free abstraction of societal thought. Uh, and I don't even want to say it's interesting because it's honestly not that interesting. It's just sort of boilerplate racism when it comes down to it. Um, but it's, it's funny at times. <laughs> um, uh huh. So let's let this guy go on. I th I'm gonna probably get triggered and th bring up some other shit that I can remember reading on like R9K. Alright, well that went poorly. I don't think this guy was going to give us any info anyways. He already said, I don't know anything, and if I did, I wouldn't tell you. I, I'm not going to pretend to be racist to get on this guy's side. I don't even think he knows anything. Hmm. Mm, yeah, that's what I figured, yeah. I, I don't know if this is true, but that would explain a lot. He's your man, all right? One hand. I wouldn't be so sure about it. Not in Guess so. Okay, well, we can talk to Ceiling again. Because when we talked to him before... Oh, let's talk to Kim. Uh, yeah, because think about it. Like, if there's this scheme of moving drugs through the lorries onto the boats and vice versa, they're going to keep the minimum number of people in the know about it. A, ro a lorry driver is going to have, like, a... a very low chance of actually being one of the insiders. Okay, what does Kim have to say? Hmm. 
that's all right. You, you should take care of that man. I do have the money. Let's talk to him anyway. An officer of the RT. Though he finds this situation frustrating, he is doing his best. Oh, Kim. All right. Uh. Well, I think we do have the money now, don't we? I can't remember how much it was. Oh, 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 my bottles, my bottles. This will give us the money we need. This will give us the money we need. To buy cigarettes. To buy even more cigarettes. Let's fucking go. Alright. Do I want to buy anything? I don't think so. I, I guess I gotta pay for these friggin' damages. Again, I'm obliged to inform you that both alcohol and cigarettes damage your health. It would be nice to just get so sloshed. No, Fritz only sells legal drugs. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's go back to the Whirling and Rags. It's getting late. I can tell everything's getting darker. This side door is locked? Yeah. Are you just gonna sit here all night? Are you okay? Hello again, officer. Yeah. I'm a night hawk. What can I say? Odd. Definitely odd. Is she the killer? Uh, someone had left a comment. Thank you for that. Months ago, I guess. <laughs> Saying you really should have gotten the gloves from her. Which, you know, is probably true. At the time, I was thinking of this mostly as like... A real social situation I was in, and less like a video game. So I was very hesitant to like ask people for things. There's a lot of people here now. Uh, I guess I can have some chats with folks. Hello again, sweetie. You know, uh, let's let's worry about this later. Let's let's go chat with this guy first. We'll see what the situation is here, and then maybe it'll be like a little tour of begging. Oh, I did have enough. At some point I had enough. And then I bought a boom box. Oh. Does that arrangement include you paying me what we already agreed you owe me? As a police officer, you must understand that my evidence being money, you can't stay here without money. Good luck trying to use it. Oh uh, boy. All the locks have an electronic component. They have to be unlocked down here. Well, not until you bring me the money. Okay. I might have something in my motor carriage we can use when you're done here. I really didn't want to resort to this. Ah, oh, boy. We're done here. What thing? Oh, yes. That door. Sure. <laughs> <There's nothing else. laughs> it's not a mysterious door. It's just a door. No, I don't have a key. I don't know how to get there. I don't care either. Hmm. It's not like an awesome, boring storage space with a bunch of... He's attempting to maintain an air of indifference. It's absolutely... Fine, okay. A little. So, I haven't opened it. Hmm. One of the cafeterias he manages. Interesting. After the and I haven't found a key, so good luck with that. Yes, not the whole damn union. They come here in the evening. Okay, so the union people are in the whirling and rags right now. Okay. <laughs> but gradually recognizes his power over him. So he's directing his frustration at genius. I don't. I'm simply providing a service or mm. facilitating the, the Paying customers. Paying customers, and it doesn't matter. We should find out who the Lord Faction is, occupying the booth. Lordness means talkative, and we need info. We don't. We have to wait. They'll show up soon enough. You glance at the clock on the wall behind the manager. Huh? There's some people in the mess hall. They're probably getting drunk or protesting something somewhere. Whatever he may feel about you, he can't miss the opportunity to throw you a look of what he assumes is sheer understanding. Go with him. Yeah, yeah. The union guys think they're untouchable. They probably mm. fucking kill that. Mm. That's about what I assumed. Yeah, acquaintance, we know. What? what? Oops. Yes. Have you got it? Like what? I was rarely enjoying talking about them. Another thing. Great. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> have to find sad banger. Sad banger. Dude, sad banger. Greatest genre of all time. Okay, well, I guess we know our next few moves. We're gonna go 
that to go to Kim's car and get... All I need is 20 bucks, man. I could have... I actually had the money. I spent it on clothes and boom boxes. Books. I had the money. I actually had the money. Alright, okay. Well, I guess we'll go to Kim's car and chat with all the people in the Whirling and Rags, which there's a lot of right now. Uh, only some of them we can talk to. I guess these guys we can't talk to, but uh, we'll check that out in the next episode, which I'm going to record right now. So there's going to be at least two episodes for people to watch. Okay. Uh, bye for now.